While Tonal was really the first device to bring a smart, space efficient, digital weight workout setup to the home, there are now a ton of new competitors, each bringing their own unique set of features, as well as their own set of pros and cons. Now, one of which, which I've been testing over the past month is called Speedience. Well, it's technically called the Speedience Gym Monster, but that's a bit much, so I just call it Speedience. And there are a few things that make this home strength device really stand out. Most notably is that unlike Tonal, which needs to be bolted onto a wall, Speedience is freestanding, so you can place it anywhere you'd like. The other big difference here is the cost. Currently, Speedience costs $2,699, which is over $1,000 less than Tonal because of their required smart accessory upgrade. In addition to that, Speedience's membership, which is free until 2024, is going to be almost half the price of the Tonal membership at $29 per month. And perhaps most importantly of all, most of the features on Speedience can still be used whether or not you want to keep that membership. And with a foldable design requiring less than three square feet of space, 220 pounds of digital resistance, real-time analytics, alongside a wide variety of programs, workouts, and movements to choose from, there is a lot that I really like about Speedience. However, it's definitely not going to be a great fit for everyone. There's no engaging class type workouts to follow along to, and there are some very very questionable safety features. Uh, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts, and if you want to stay up to date with the latest in connected fitness, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, in this in-depth review of Speedience, I'm gonna be breaking down five of the most important things that you should know, starting with number one, space requirements. Having the ability to move Speedience to wherever you'd like is not just a nice feature, but potentially an essential one for many, especially for those who might be renting. And when folded up, Speedience takes up very little space set less than three total square feet, although you will need to find additional storage space for the accessories. Now for me, I just stack the included bench on top of it and hang the accessories on the wall behind it. Now when you want to use Speedience, you can unlock and unfold the platform with a simple press of a button. Now the only issue with this is that this platform is actually pretty heavy and there's nothing stopping or slowing it down from crashing down, so you need to lower it slowly and this is one reason why that if you have kids, I suggest you leave this platform down because this button is really easy to press and a small kid could get really hurt if they did so. Now, next, let's talk about digital weight. Now, because Speedience uses this platform that you stand on, it is able to provide a pretty decent amount of resistance. They claim 110 pounds per arm or 220 pounds total. And I know that this is digital resistance and that it's supposed to feel heavier than traditional weights, but this this feels significantly heavier. The upper 225 pound weight limit feels much more like 250 pounds or more when comparing it to free weight. And that's great because for most people, this is going to be more than enough resistance to create a full strength routine at home. Now for the most part, lifting with these weights feels very stable and secure. As a cable machine, it works really well. And although you do get a bit of a wobble here and there, it's not any more noticeable than on similar machines like Tonal or Vitruvian. And with some movements, I was really impressed. For example, elevated hip thrusts, which can be a harder movement to set up, is exceptionally easy to perform here. The skiing movement is also a nice addition, although you should note there is a lot more resistance here, even at the lowest level, than a more traditional ski erg, and you have to stay a bit more in control in the return in order for it to function correctly. Now, while there are some safety features that could help prevent you from getting hurt, and some of which I'll go more in depth in later on, my biggest problem here is they aren't good enough when you're lifting with the barbell vertically. Because while the weight can unload when you finish a set, or even unload a little bit if you get stuck or drop the handles, it isn't fast enough to prevent that barbell from crashing down. And if you're lifting heavy enough, since there is not really any space or stops before it hits your toes, it could easily come down hard enough to cause a serious injury. And until I see better safety features, I'm not going to be lifting really heavy with vertical barbell movements movements like squats or deadlifts. I mean, let me know in the comments, do you think this has the potential to hurt somebody? 
maybe it's just me. Now let's talk about all the accessories. So if you stick with the basic Expedience package, it'll include a bench, a barbell, cable handles, and a barbell rack. And this is actually a lot more than others like Tonal provide with their basic package. And you can do the vast majority of movements with this basic package alone. However, I would strongly suggest that you buy the smart accessory package for Expedience, which includes a digital weight control for the barbell and smart handles, which can turn on and off the load, as well as a rope accessory, ankle attachments, and ski handles. And while having the ability to turn the weights on and off via these smart accessories is not necessary all the time, it is for some movements, especially for those with the barbell, like squats. And while there are squat rack hooks that are included, I found those to be pretty much unusable for almost every movement, given how small and shallow they are, not to mention the fact that it's almost impossible to rack the barbell with this screen in the way. Now, adding and removing the attachments is very quick and easy. It's very nice and the adjustment system allows you to change the lever point from the cables from high to low and even pull them out to the platform so you can better load vertical movements. The cables and handles are all well made and comfortable to use. The barbell is decent as well though a bit skinnier and not quite as comfortable as a more traditional barbell. The rest of the accessories including the bench are also pretty nice though I'm not a huge fan of these ski handles. They aren't terrible but being plastic they can get a bit slippery which really makes them hard to hold onto and use, and I just wish they had used a rubber coating like they use on the Concept 2 Ski Erg to make it easier to grip. Now besides skiing, there is also an optional rowing attachment, which I haven't had the opportunity to test out for this review. Next up, we have smart features. So when you're using Speedience, there are a decent amount of smart features that you can take advantage of to level up your workouts. First off, you can take six different strength assessments, though I suggest you warm up if you're going to do one as they continuously add weight to a particular lift as you complete reps until you basically tap out. And each of these assessments will then upgrade grade dozens of strength movements with initially suggested weight loads for future workouts. And as you continue to do different workouts and movements, Speedience keeps tracks of all of your weights and sets and then is better able to provide weight suggestions over time. It isn't perfect by any means, but it does a pretty decent job of at least getting you to the ballpark of where you should be lifting. Now, when you have a movement selected, you can of course adjust the weight up or down. But you can also turn on this smart deloading setting, which will automatically turn the load off after you finish the last rep of any set. And this is something that I always leave on. They also have a spotter option that you can select, which will decrease a load during a rep if you happen to get stuck just like a spotter would. And this works pretty well too. And again, it's something I usually leave on. You can also invert the screen here, which you may want to do when benching or doing hip thrusts, since you can rotate the screen to face down towards you and glance up at it on occasion to see your reps or be able to adjust your weight. Now, there are also four dynamic resistance modes to choose from. There's standard, which provides a constant amount of resistance and it feels like you're lifting regular weights. Then there's chains, which helps simulate the feeling of lifting with chains. So if you haven't done that, it's essentially a way to add more resistance as you complete a movement. And this too works well and is definitely a nice addition to be able to throw into your workouts. There's eccentric mode, which increases the resistance on the eccentric or lowering portion of a movement. So for example, on a squat, it will feel heavier on the way down than on the way up. Again, a very useful tool to use on occasion, and it's something that is really hard to do with regular weights, and so benefit from a digital weight setup like this. And finally, we have the constant mode, which keeps the speed of the barbell or handle constant as you pull, and this one's a bit strange, as you really only mostly see it in rehabilitation settings, but again, it's nice that it's available as an option here should you need it. Now, while you lift, in addition to seeing your weight, reps, and volume, Speedience also has a range of motion and graph that adjusts in real time, so it makes it easy to see if you're favoring one side over the other when performing a movement, and that allows you to adjust and make sure you are lifting equally on both sides. And finally, let's talk about the Speedience membership. Now, Speedience does have a membership, although they've told me they won't be charging anyone for it until at least 2024, but they do eventually plan on charging $29 per month. And while it's hard to know what the Speedience membership will look like a year from now, 
it currently includes a wide variety of programs and workouts to follow along to and what seems to be a new full program added every week. As of now, these workouts aren't filmed coach classes, but instead basically show a demo of the current movement along with some audio cues. So if you're looking for more entertainment or an experience featuring a real coach teaching a class, then you may not like how this is set up. But for me, this works great as I don't really need a full on coach class to get a workout in and I like to just be able to follow along to their programmed reps and sets. And the programs and workouts are designed well with good structure, reps, sets, rest, and volume that all makes sense, and a wide assortment of options to choose from with hundreds of classes ranging from short 10 minute sessions to longer 60 minute full body routines. And in addition to these classes, you can go to the movement library and just select movements one by one if you want to do that for your workout. And you can even create your own custom workout structures here on the Speedians touchscreen or on the app that you can save and take multiple times. The workout creation tools are a bit cumbersome to use at the moment as it forces you to select the exact weights you'll be using for each movement, which I don't really like. And there's no easy way to add supersets of movements among other additional options that I would like to see here over time. Alternatively, you can just go into the free left mode with no movement selected and just do whatever you like while still being able to adjust the digital weight and type as desired. And all this besides the pre-built classes and programs will be available even without the membership. So really happy to see that Speedience doesn't really become worthless as some machines do without that monthly subscription. And it's mostly here as a nice additional supplement that I think many people will see enough value in to continue with. So overall, I think Speedience is a really solid home fitness studio option. It's not as smart, beginner friendly, and definitely not as safe as some others, but what Speedience does have is a very solid design that doesn't require being bolted to a wall, and a price that is significantly lower than most other options, and a membership that is free for now, in addition to non-membership options being plentiful enough so that you are not forced to continue paying a monthly fee just to keep it functioning. And not only is it extremely space efficient, it's also just really easy to jump into. Even for my setup here where I have a barbell right next to it, I find myself wanting to do a lot of my lifting with Speedience just because it's so much faster and easier to add weight and change movements. Now I still prefer the barbell for more of my heavy movements like squats and deadlifts, but it's hard to deny just how convenient a smart fitness setup like Speedience really is. And you can learn more about Speedience in the description below as well as any discounts they are currently offering. Again, this is Colin with Connect the Watts. Appreciate you being here as always, and I'll see you next time.